Hi folks, I hope you're doing well. So, last time, in the last video that I did, which is going on YouTube now, I mentioned Matthew 18, 19 to 20. Well, yes, having re-looked at that scripture, I, you can see quite clearly why the church took no notice of that. I wonder who can guess the reason. Because it's one of those scriptures that points out the fact that churches like the river church are led by the devil because you actually have Yeshua speaking about his father from the point of view as another individual. Yes. So, hmm. it starts again. Truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. So, this is not restrictive purely to healing. And he's not saying that he will do this. So, again, this is a problem. See, when people pray for healing, pray for anything else, pray for things where they agree, they pray in the name of Jesus, right? Who is he saying does it? He's not saying he does it, is he? He's saying it is done by my Father in heaven. It will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Right? Now I've done a scripture about in the next part where it says for where two or three are gathered in my name I am there among you. Because again there is a, a massive lack of understanding about that. Because basically people think that means that he's there in every single service all around the world. No. Well, as in that he's physically there in every single service all around the world. So he's in, you know, 10,000 different places at the same time, physically there, which is, no, that's not what it means at all. So again, gathered in my name, what does that mean? That doesn't mean yeah, that you're gathered and you say in the name of Jesus because that's not what gathered in my name means. And it's not really in my name. I'm going to say it's, it's the area of legal where in my name means basically in my nature. When you give power of attorney to someone, you give it to someone who is using your name as if they were you. And basically, it means they need to know you that well. That basically, they are you. Now, this isn't saying that. What this is saying about nature is saying if you have the nature of your heavenly father if you understand who you are you understand that you yourself are a son and you learn to walk according to that according to the nature of our heavenly father then what is in you is exactly the same as what is in me And so therefore the important points about me will be there. Right? That's one way to put it. Because that is true. It 
it's about who you are, it's about how you walk and how you identify. If you see yourself as a sinner, you are not really gathering in his name, are you? You're gathering in the name of sin. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the church takes no notice of all this stuff anyway. So, we've, we are sure, he said many, many things that you need the Holy Spirit to understand. Many, many things that you need the Holy Spirit to understand. Pretty much most of the... <laughs> you could easily say most of the things he says you need the Holy Spirit to help you to understand because he wasn't speaking the language of soul he wasn't speaking the language of man he was speaking the language of God and so therefore a very very different language to that which most of us were speaking before we came to God so that's why you need the Holy Spirit to help you to understand what is being said. And I say that's why it's it was a massive tragedy that most of the people over the last 30, 40 years haven't been bothered about the Holy Spirit. And he didn't. Yeah. And of course, as I say, People will vehemently deny that and say that that isn't true. Of course they will. Yeah. Of course they will. But you only have to look at the evidence. And the evidence says, yeah, they've not been led by the Holy Spirit. They weren't desiring to be. Yeah. So, well, as I say about Yeshua, he points to the Father all the time. All the time. When he's talking about the vine, who is the vine dresser? So who is the one who basically helps the vine to produce fruit? That would be the Father. And every everyone prays to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, it's it's a. Uh, yeah, I used to like casting crowns, and again, I'm I'm not going to be saying to people I've known this all along because I haven't. It's only since 2021, September, October. 2021 that I realised that I started to understand because I was put in that position by God that I had to say to him well I can't do that unless I know who you are and who I am and then suddenly boom you know I started to understand all of this but it wasn't until then that I started to understand but yeah Say so I used to like casting crowns, but all of their songs are worshiping Jesus, pointing to everything being about Jesus, and it's just demonic. It's demonic. It's not according to God in any way, shape, or form. See, and as I say, folks, it it can't be a case where it's it's sort of of God because of the fact that God is not going to lead you to focus all your worship, all your prayer, all your spiritual understanding upon the Son when it's supposed to be upon the Father. So... 
as I say, you have a situation spiritually where the son's job is to point to the father. The Holy Spirit's job is to point to the son. Why? Because you're supposed to be pointed to the father. You're supposed to see in the son that the son's job was to point to father. He wasn't about pointing to himself. He doesn't say, again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on anything on earth. Sorry, I'll start that again. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, in my name, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. It never says in my name. But people always add in his name. But he doesn't say that. He never said that. In the verse below, it says the in my name bit. But only where two or three are gathered in my name. He never says you ask these things in my name, sir. The problem is, is that we, we get that from other stuff. We get that from Peter. That when Peter prayed for the man sitting by the gate, he said, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. And people have just assumed that everything has to be in the name of Jesus. From that. Everything. But that just was never true. Never. Oh, well. mm. there you go this is where we are yeah oh I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I've got everything right I mean the last video I did was looking into the concept of sin and, and questioning whether it's something completely different to what we understood it to be that's quite possibly absolutely nonsense I don't know it was something that struck me that was worth talking about. It doesn't mean I'm absolutely spot on about that, does it? I could be very, very wrong about that. I don't know. Time will tell. Yeah. But yeah. If you're in one of these churches, again, if you're in a church, and you find out... Find out, if you're in a church, find out whether that church believes that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one individual doing three jobs, or three individuals doing one job. So you've got Father, Son, Holy Spirit being God, three individuals, or God, one individual, acting as Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The River Church believes it's one individual playing three roles, right? Or doing three roles, should we say, not playing necessarily, doing three roles. Um, whereas that is not what the Son is saying here in Matthew 18, 19 to 20. Because, again, he's not going to be saying... It would be done for you by my Father in Heaven if he didn't have a Father in Heaven. Because again, you're making him out to be a liar to say that the Father is the Son because if the Father is the Son, how is he claiming that he has a Father in Heaven? Because he would understand that when he says, by my Father in heaven, he understands what we understand the Father as being. So, yeah. Is he a liar? Was, was he suffering from mental problems? No. No. The church has been deceived. 
That's the reality. Well, there you go. Mm. And that's only one of many, many scriptures. From the words of Yeshua, talking about the fact it's his Father that does everything, and talking about the fact that we should be worshipping the Father, we should be praying to the Father. And but this is this is what I'm saying about this point of conviction, about this point of people turning around and saying, "Okay, we've been wrong." It takes a very big person to be able to do that, and that's why most people just won't do it because they can't. It's too big a thing. Yeah, I mean, okay, the the people yeah have been writing songs for casting crowds. For them to now say, I'm sorry, we were wrong. We were making everything about the son when it's supposed to be about the father. So therefore, we're going to reimburse everyone for every CD they bought. They're never going to do that. They won't have the money to do that anyway. And even coming out saying they're wrong. That basically means that nobody from that point will buy any of the albums they made up until now. And I think that they're basically ending their time of doing music, or they will do pretty soon. So therefore, their whole catalogue will be worthless. That's a big thing to just let go of, isn't it, really? And so it takes... Yeah... Yeah. It takes someone who doesn't care about any of that stuff to be able to say, yeah, I was wrong. Too many people care too much about that sort of stuff. So, yeah. It is what it is. And, uh, yeah. I hope I'm wrong. Well, I hope that the people involved with Casting Crowns can do that because they're a talented band and it'd be lovely if they were doing some stuff that was a bit more according to the will and the way of God. According to the words of the one who they're giving everything to. So there you go. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon.